Hey everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. As always, I'm Jay and today, as you can tell by my garb, I am all decked out and ready for Star Wars The Last Jedi Trailer Part 2 during the most boring football game ever. I mean, not that I was really watching it, but the fact of the matter was that the trailer was on and halftime came and I was glued to my seat to see what we had to offer. Now, I did not expect even an inkling of what we got in this trailer. You know, it started off slow with a kind of a dichotomy thing going on. You see Kylo Ren with his master, and then you see Rey with Luke trying to train and everything. And next thing you know, it's at a slow pace, and then all of a sudden, it just bitch slaps you in the face with a whole bunch of what the f moments. It was crazy. Like, crazy. Let's take it from the top of this crazy ham sandwich with all the what the f moments that I found. Five in total, starting with the fact that Lucas said he's seen raw power like this before, but he wasn't scared of it then, and now he's scared of it when he's talking about Rey all being all meditative and all crazy with the Force. What the f moment number two? Kylo Ren piloting his ship, blasting the hell out of all the resistance, and then all of a sudden he's about this close to pushing the buttons to destroying the ship that his mom's in. What the actual f? What the f moment number three? Finn versus Phasma. Yes, for all you fans who were hoping Captain Phasma was actually going to be doing a lot in the last film, sorry to disappoint you, but this one looks like it might be tickling your fancy. And then all of a sudden we see Snoke talking about fulfilling your destiny as he's got Rey in a force paralyzer chokehold going on. Who is he talking to? Is he talking to her or is he talking to Kylo Ren? And finally, the biggest what the f on top of a cake, on top of a tower of what the f moments. Rey is talking about finding her place in this world throughout the whole trailer and at the end she reiterates she needs someone to guide her and then it interweaves with the scene of Kylo Ren looking forward whether it's looking at her or somebody else and putting out his hand putting out his hand his hand now I personally don't think that this was the same scene but it is really interesting that they're trying to lead us into certain things with this trailer okay Right off the bat, let's 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 really digest this here though. They're showing a cool bunch of scenes and everything, yes, but they're also playing at the fact that the 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 goodness, the light and the dark is always a stone's throw away from wherever each apprentice is. We can we, we just get this sense that Ray is kind of, you know, slipping a little bit into a kind of a despair and a loneliness, and we feel like with certain scenes that Kylo is kind of slipping in and out of being evil but kind of wanting to be good and actually do good in the point that he's got this conflict of killing his mom. And he had a conflict of killing his father in the last film, which we don't know whether he did or not on purpose because of many fan theories and whatnot, which I'm not going to get into. But the whole point of the whole thing is that, you know, we're seeing these characters taken to new places that we'd never thought we'd see. I mean, I would never have guessed that I'd see a strong Luke coming out of Return of the Jedi and becoming so crazy and paranoid as he is in this film. I mean, I don't even know how to take that. I don't know what to think about one of my heroes in the cinema being turned into kind of a weaselly old man who doesn't know how to take a training and apprentice and everything. Now granted, there's some messed up stuff that happened between episode 6 and 7, mostly in part to him failing Kylo Ren, I'm sure, or Ben, uh, but uh, I mean, what are you gonna do? I really liked seeing Finnegan. Poe was cool. I'm not really a big fan of Poe. I mean, he seems kind of like a poor man's Han Solo. And I'm really glad to see that Finn's going to be doing more in this film, especially him fighting Phasma, which was uh, kind of a very surprising moment and looks so badass and cool. You know, I can't even talk enough about that. Um, but I am, I'm really drawn in now. I know Ryan Johnson, he said, you know avoid the trailer or, or whatever he said he was kind of alluding that maybe if you want to go in fresh, you shouldn't watch the trailer, but it's so good. And this trailer was Oh man, it was so amazing. If the hooks for this movie weren't already in me, they're totally in me now. I am anchored. I, I need to see this. I have to see this on premiere night, which I'm probably not going to be able to because I forgot to order my damn tickets. Shit. But anyway, guys, that's enough for me in this video. Tell me down below what you thought about the trailer. What were your favorite parts? Do you agree with what I said or do you think I'm full of shit? Let me know down below. Leave all the feedback, even if it's negative feedback. And as always, guys, I'm Jay. Take care. Bye.